computer memory and its types will be discussed in this video and I want to make you sure that if you watch this video completely you will be able to know what is computer memory and its types with their functions so hello and welcome everyone let me start with the definition of computer memory so computer memory is the storage device that stores the data and information of the computer system actually they are the hardware part of our computer system that are capable of storing computer data programs files and folders or any kind of information some examples of computer memory are hard disk ram rom cd dvd and pen drive actually hard disk is the common secondary storage device of our computer system that stores the data and information permanently similarly ram is the temporary memory of our computer system that holds the information or the programs of the currently running applications whereas rom is the permanent memory of our computer system that holds the bios program we have cd dvd for creating backup of the information and pen drives are used for transporting the data from one computer to another so these are some of the examples of computer memory all these types of memory are categorized into two types primary memory and secondary memory now let me tell you about the primary memory primary memory is the internal memory of our computer system that is accessed by the cpu directly because they are attached to motherboard directly they are the main memory of our computer system because whatever the data the cpu needs to process are accessed from the primary memory ram and rom are the examples of primary memory ram is the temporary memory that holds the data and instructions of the currently running program whereas the rom is the permanent type of primary memory that holds the BIOS program or the firmware softwares. So primary memory are categorized as RAM and ROM. However, there is another type of primary memory called the cache memory. Cache memory will be discussed at the last. Now let me tell you about the RAM memory. So RAM memory stands for random access memory. It is the volatile memory of our computer system. It means it will lose its data when we turn off our computer system. It is also called the temporary memory because it holds the data on the temporary basis. It is the main memory of our computer system because whatever the data the CPU needs to access are stored in the RAM memory. Whenever we start our computer system, it loads the operating system and whenever we start or run any other applications, the data of that particular applications are loaded into the RAM memory. It is of two types, static RAM and dynamic RAM. Static RAM does not need to be re-energized and it is faster than dynamic random access memory. However, dynamic RAM needs to be re-energized or refreshed periodically and it is slower than static RAM. Dynamic random access memory is often called as RAM memory. Now let me tell you about the ROM. ROM is another type of primary memory which stands for read-only memory. It is the non-volatile memory of our computer system. It means it holds the data or program permanently it is the permanent type of primary memory that stores the bios program or firmware permanently the data or the softwares or the program from the rom memory cannot be rewritten once it is installed it is of three types p rom that is programmable read only memory this type of rom can be programmed only once it cannot be reprogrammed many times next is the ep rom that is erasable programmable read only memory it means this type of rom memory can be programmed more than once 
the previous program can be erased using ultraviolet rays and it can be reprogrammed with the new code or the software similarly the third one is the EEP ROM which stands for electrically erasable programmable read only memory it can also be programmed many times and the data from this type of ROM memory can be easily erased using electrical charge or electrical signals so these three are the types of ROM memory okay before talking about the secondary memory let me tell you about the features of primary memory they are the main memory of our computer system they are the semiconductor memories uh, it means they are made from the semiconductor elements similarly they are the volatile memory of our computer system that holds the data on the temporary basis especially RAM memory and uh, they are the working memory of our computer system without them our computer system cannot work and the next feature is uh, they are faster than the secondary memory a computer cannot run without them another one is data is lost when the power is switched off especially it happens in the case of RAM memory so these are some of the important features of primary memory now let me tell you about the secondary memory secondary memory are the external memory of our computer system that stores the data and information permanently secondary memory is the permanent type of memory that have the large storage capacity it is also known as the auxiliary memory this type of memory can store large amount of data however they are slower than the primary memory secondary memory are connected to motherboard with the help of cables some of the examples of uh, secondary memory are hard disk CD DVD pen drive and so on now I will explain all these types of secondary memory in detail so let's see about them let's see about the hard disk hard disk is the secondary memory of our computer system it is commonly known as hard drive or HDD that is hard disk drive it is the non volatile memory of our computer system that stores the data permanently it does not lose its content when the computer is turned off so they are the permanent memory of a computer system actually hard disk is the common secondary memory used in laptop and desktop computers for storing the data files programs softwares and other multimedia content like the pictures videos music permanently for a long period of time and the next secondary storage device is the cd room it is compact disk read only memory it is an optical storage medium that stores the data permanently it has the capacity of storing 600 to 750 mb of data it is less as compared to other storage medium however they are cheaper than other secondary storage devices cd rom are of two type cdr that is compact disk readable it means the data on this type of uh, cd can be written only once we cannot erase it after writing the data once similarly another one is cdrw that is compact disk rewritable it means the data can be written more than once by erasing the previous data so these are the two types of compact disk read only memory and the next type of secondary memory is dvd it is digital versatile disk or digital video disk it is also an optical storage medium that is an evolution of the cd rom it is very much similar to cd however it can store large amount of data as compared to cd rom it is an optical storage medium that stores the data on the both side that's why the storage capacity of the dvd is high as compared to cd it is used for storing the files folders music videos documents and so on so such types of data are stored permanently on dvd the storage capacity of dvd is 4.7 gb to 28 gb and that is very much higher than the capacity of compact disc so they are more popular as compared to cd another type of secondary storage device is the pen drive pen drive is a small pen type device 
that can be attached to our computer system in the USB port. They are also called the flash drive and it is the most convenient storage device that helps to transfer the data from one computer to another. It is small enough that can be easily carried in our pocket. That is why it is very portable secondary storage device that is used to transport the data from one computer to another and it is very popular secondary storage device that can be used for backup of the important files and folders but basically used for transporting the data from one computer to another okay now let me tell you about the features of secondary memory secondary memory are magnetic and optical memories it is also known as the backup memory because they are used to store the data permanently. They are non-volatile. The data is not lost when the computer is turned off. Similarly, data is permanently stored even if the power is switched off. A computer may run without the secondary memory. They are slower than the primary memories as well as less expensive than the primary memory. So these are some of the important features of secondary memory. Okay, finally let me tell you about the cache memory. Cache memory is a special type of memory which is very small in size. However, they are the fastest memory of our computer system. It acts as the buffer between the CPU and the main memory, especially RAM. They are placed between the RAM and the CPU in order to increase the performance of the computer system. Cache memory is used to hold those part of the data and programs which are most frequently used by the CPU. The purpose of cache memory is to store the frequently access data and instructions to reduce the time it takes to access the data from the RAM memory. So the main purpose of using cache memory is to reduce the time and increase the speed of the processing. So cache memory is placed between the primary memory RAM and the CPU, cache memory and RAM together help the CPU to increase the PC performance. Okay, let me tell you about the advantages of cache memory. Cache memory is faster than the main memory. Actually, they are the fastest memory of a computer system. Similarly, it consumes less time as compared to the main memory because they are the fastest one. And the next is it stores the program that can be executed within the short period of time. So it holds the program that can be executed very fast. And the last one is it stores the data for temporary use. So it is not the permanent type of memory, it is also the temporary memory. Similarly, it has some disadvantages. Uh, cache memory has the limited capacity. They cannot store large amount of data and it is an expensive type of memory. So these are some of the advantages and disadvantages of cache memory. I hope you have understood completely about the memory, their types and uses. Now if you want to know about the computer hardware, you can click on the left video and if you want to know about the computer software and their types, then you can click on the right video. So see you in the next video.